Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here, greeting his boys and girls, and welcome to this another brand new day. Where, and again, I am still doing the same thing I did yesterday, but changing it up at the same time since I'm keeping my PlayStation camera up on top of my console's monitor, and it's a good thing. So, definitely a thumbs up. Different angle, and yay! All my hamsters are asleep, even little Gojira, who's usually running around in the morning time. She is asleep down there, so I'm sorry. I'd love to show off my hamsters. I'm very proud of them. I love them very, very much, but everybody's asleep that I could get to. <clears throat> Little Dust Mop is sleeping. Little Figmo is asleep down in his home. And here, Saber, she's asleep in her corner. She's getting older. She's like Dr. Snurf. She spends just a lot of time in her nest. But then all the hamsters do, you know, when they're just resting and they're not out foraging or they're not, you know, having to urinate or they're not exercising. They just sleep and they just eat and they just be hamsters. They just be hamsters? Is that? That doesn't seem exactly like English. I mean, I'll go with it though. Definitely a thumbs up. Because hamsters are cool. Hamsters are awesome. I love rodents. And yes, when the time comes and I lose some of these little guys through time and tide, you know, they're getting older, then I'm going to see about getting, you know, maybe a couple mice, depending on the cost or whether I can just adopt for free or rescue, we shall see. You know, so that'll be cool too. Definitely a thumbs up on that. Past that, I did not go walkies last night. I, I had not planned on it because I, I mean, I went partial walkies, but I'll come back to that. I did not go major walkies because I wanted to take a shower and taking a shower is a good hour and a half long process so I don't like to go out walkies and then come back and have to stand for an hour and a half to take a shower I don't have room for like a shower chair it's a stall it's not a bathtub it's just a shower stall so there's no room to sit or any such like that yay but I got all cleaned and showered and that's good. Definitely a thumbs up. I did go minor walkies downtown because at our local bank, it's credit union, you know, my local credit union, they changed their banking system, online credit system. So everybody that did have stuff, did have stuff, did have accounts and could do online banking, you know, check your account and all that. <clears throat> because of the upgrades you had to everything changed and so yesterday i could have called up but i figured ah, i need to walk so i'll walk so i walked all the way down to the credit union which is just across the street from our local safeway so it's about at least half a mile three quarters of a mile to get there and so i walked my way there to find out that you have to re-enroll online Here's a sheet of paper telling you how to do it. And if you have a phone, I can walk you through it right now. Well, I don't have a phone yet, still. <clears throat> so I got the little sheet of paper that I can work on back here again. So all that walk, and it was exercise, so that's a good thing. And I took the extra loop that goes up and around. So that added a mile to it right off the bat right there. So I didn't go for a full walkies, but I did a minor walkies, and it was good, definitely a thumbs up. And the the time is already changing. It's, I mean, every, that stupid way to say it. But as the time continues to change, I mean, it is 7.25 a.m., and right now it is pretty bright outside. I could probably read a book. You know, definitely, because it looks bright enough from in here, and in here, it's it only is half as bright as it actually is, the way it looks. So it's very, very bright outside, and just, you know, two months ago, December, <clears throat> but hey, thumbs up for that. Past that, just... <clears throat> 
my sincere apologies past that just been thinking on story stuff and just making videos yesterday it actually took a long time because of therapy and here's one thing that's really really difficult about my brain and this whole trying to remember things and and such my head is still because of depression my the inside of my head is still stuck and lost my time sense is destroyed when people are depressed they have difficulties with their time sense mine is way off because of my depression and i think definitely my adult adhd probably has definitely something to do with it in my opinion because when i do something in the morning like this let's say it's 7 30 by the time i hit noon already what i did this morning feels like yesterday it feels that long ago I have to try and remember back to, oh yeah, that was, oh, that was just this morning. It feels like yesterday. By the time I hit that evening, what I did in the morning feels like it happened days ago. Not yesterday, days ago. It is just a weird and hard to try and understand feeling. Because whenever I remember something, I mean, it's stuck in my head as being days ago. So I have to try and figure, was this actually days ago or was that just this morning? And most of the time it's just this morning, but my memory has got it stuffed in there. So <sighs> depression and more, thumbs up for that. On the other hand, I did have good talk, a good talk. I can't speak English this morning. I had a good talk with my therapist. <clears throat> I have bananas in there and they just decided to fall. And I, <clears throat> good lord, I had a good talk and that is a very good thing. I talked about how I feel that I'm not just, you know, living to not die, but I'm walking towards a goal that I probably won't reach. I mean, you know, for any of us, the goal we reach is probably something we'll never reach, but it's something we're walking toward. It's a goal, a, a, a point in life, something other than just living to not die. I don't know what my goal is. It would probably take 20 or 30 years for me to reach it, but the fact that I'm living for something other than just not dying is an excellent thing. And he was happy to hear that too. <coughs> I talked about how, you know, I'm feeling really, really close to some major change coming up somehow. I'm like on the cusp. I've been following the quest marker for years now that says it's that way. I'm not there yet, but over in the field, I can see the quest marker point. I'm real close. I can see where it is now instead of just it's that direction far away. So, hey, definitely a thumbs up, a good thing. I also talked about, and I think I talked about this as well here, I can't remember, yesterday's vlog feels like days ago. Oh, and now it's gone. Oh, I gotta love that. I, it's just the way my brain functions and my sincere apologies. Because sometimes the things that I talk about that, that I don't leave a good enough conversational breadcrumb trail for me to follow back. The subject is gone. I think there was something just a tiny bit ago that I wanted to talk about that's all gone. <coughs> so instead I'll talk about this because these bananas fell over. I've wanted to talk about bananas for a while because of the, the way I like to eat bananas. You see these? Some people think that you should be eating bananas when they're more green and just lightly yellow, but they're solid and there's not a lot of taste to them at that point. Because bananas, they slowly turn into sugar. There's a sugar conversion process. And the more yellow they get, the more soft the flesh of the banana becomes and the sweeter the taste. 
when you get those brown marks, when it starts getting brown, there's a reason people use that kind of banana to make muffins and such. Because when you got the brown spot on the inside of the banana, you know, when the when you get it, it's turning brown here, so you open up and it's brown on the inside, that's not rot or decay. Those are sugar spots. That is where the flesh of the banana has turned into sugar. They are incredibly sweet and tasty and wonderful. And I am so irate at my voice box. <laughs> Ugh, my sincere apologies. It's all that stuff that just collects while I sleep. And then of course, because I'm talking for an extended length of time, then it's all getting knocked loose and I have to cough and, and hack it up. <sighs> One of the hazards of being a cannabis smoker. Yay. I mean, I am doing damage to my lungs, I know that. It's just, it doesn't do anywhere near the damage the nicotine does. I've said it before, I'll say it again. When I saw some autopsy pictures of a person that had been a lifelong cannabis smoker, their lungs looked, you know, a little bit seared, like they'd been on a hot thing. So there was damage, you could tell. But the lifelong cigarette smoker, there were just some small briquettes left of where the lobes should have been. So there's a big difference. But yes, these are approaching <clears throat> the edibility point and I will be eating these in a day or two. They're just too green up here and they're not yellow enough. <laughs> it's something that you, you figure out, gosh, that's too far away and I don't wanna smack the keyboard. I have a PlayStation, I don't have a PlayStation keyboard. I have a really cheap membrane keyboard that I've got plugged into the PlayStation at this point. So I'm going to put these bananas right down here on top of my hiking boots. Yay! <clears throat> good lord. Well, good golly, Miss Molly, past that. I've just been thinking of my fiction stuff. You know, I tried just to figure language things since after all I've mentioned before how the language that we hear and what they speak is completely different. Like, I've got all the various names with their various types of pronunciations and accent, and then there's the one name I had mentioned before how it's not pronounced like the others. You know, like there's Gatsi Ray, Erugats, and then there's one that should be Asatarasi. And the, I decided that it was actually pronounced Asatarasi, like it's English. and that was just to <clears throat> poke at people. I've finally been able to come up with the reason why. Because Asa Tarasi is, likes to crawl in the tight crevices and explore all of these dark, empty, broken places he has come to have. He has come to have an appreciation for these older places, the people that built the actual abandoned city. He has his, lang his name pronounced the way that the language of the city builders pronounce language. And it's not the way we pronounce language either, because of course we can't perceive everything. It looks to us like a satyr, or for short, he, he will go by satyr, S-A-Y-T-E-R. But for us, it's just pronounced satyr for them to pronounce it because they do not have, you know, mouth, throat, and lung parts the way we do. And this is how we can tell that we're not getting it all. For them to say satyr, they have to have a violent body racking cough halfway through the word. So we're missing out on something when we hear and say satyr, but it's okay. So when all of its siblings want to talk to satyr, a satyr, a C, they have to use that old spelling and old word for the name. And it hurts them, and they don't like the way it sounds, but ain't gonna listen otherwise. And now, I am swapping to this camera because I have opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab and I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. <clears throat> 
I'm not reading the comments. I'm going to read them afterward. Thank you for having left me a comment, but for right now, I'm just thanking you for the comment. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. And even though I count in American Sign Language because of my memory, which you've already seen, that means I, I going to probably get lost we shall see so we have lee simone thumbs up and thank you and david mora greatly appreciate it kathy kids cat thumbs up and thank you we have russian timing greatly appreciated tamer p thumbs up and thank you zombie wolf haven't seen you for a while good too and ferber merbader <laughs> thumbs up i like the name sebastian ferris greatly appreciated ptx owns my life greatly appreciate colin reisner good to see you in the comments bailey snyder thumbs up and thank you and we have douglas stephen luna greatly appreciated elder wolf 569 good to see you Ali Shabiri, thumbs up and thank you. We have Noxious TMP, greatly appreciated. John Gurnhill, thumbs up and thank you. Original G, thumbs up. And then we have Paul Haas, H-A-A-S, thumbs up and thank you. Charming Bastard, greatly appreciated. And then we have Confused Owl 29, congrats on the 20 subscribers. And then we have Oli B, thumbs up and thank you. And Iron Knight, greatly appreciated. And Ice Damon, greatly appreciated. Hugo Romero, thumbs up and thank you. And that, last but not least, Aziz Bong, thumbs up and thank you. It is appreciated. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. Thumbs up and thank you so very, very much. It is appreciated, definitely. If you could check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If that would be very, very cool, if you could check out my... Though, if you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. And if you wanted to support me but didn't want to send money to one of those places, I have a PayPal link down below. That would be very cool. And if you wanted to support me but didn't want to send money, I have an Amazon wish list link down below as well. Filled with things like cat food, hamster food, silly things, not silly things. If you could check it out, that would be very, very awesome. Definitely a thumbs up. Now, if you do not... Do not feel obligated. I don't feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. Laughing at myself and my rental tongue syndrome. <laughs> if you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. Definitely a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe to the channel and <coughs> hit that bell. That would be very cool. Greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are done with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Definitely a thumbs up. Now, swapping back to this camera. <laughs> I have production values all of a sudden. How did that happen? Well, I guess they're not production values. I don't have any production values. I am the world's most amateur professional, or the most professional amateur. I'm just an amateur is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, thank you very much for coming along with me on this journey of exploration. It is very, very cool. Later on today, after today's video, I have a game video, of course. I have a Reddit reading reaction that's hopefully going to stay monetized. If so, it will go live tonight. If it's demonetized, then I guess it's tomorrow after they re-monetize it after I appeal, so we shall see. So, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing. Be awesome. Be creative. Set your sights on the future. Shoot for the stars, because when you can't hit the stars, no one can. They're too far away. You're at least going to hit the moon. And that's a thumbs up right there.